One one baby loves it. She girl queen team representing trying to make the world healthy. And uh, for you guys that don't know me, I'm called Tiffany, and I am the owner and founder of a company called Sexy Fit. And that is my mission to make most people, if not everybody, sexy and fit. Today I'm going to bring you one of my ultimate ab workouts using the kettlebells, which I have been training since the year 2010. For you guys that aren't used to working your abs out, please do my other ones that I've got. I've got plenty of ab workouts on there to get you nice and confident and obviously used to the technique and used to me as well. Because that's really, really important. What you do now obviously sets you up for, for later on. We don't want to have any injuries. Prevention is better than the cure in my eyes. Um, again, if you've um, not worked out before or used to working out, please consult your doctor before you do any of my workouts. Again, prevention is better than the cure. Um, with my ab workouts, after having a C-section and a daughter myself, I pretty much say, they're looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to give you some of Tiffy's top tips on to really delve into them abs, really get the best abs of your life. Um, I mean, I eat, I eat food, <laughs> so, you know, I do work out quite a lot, but like I said, abs are quite challenging to get, and most of you have probably found that out. 80% of what you look like is down to your food though, can we all please remember that? So, you know, this is just to add on and to complement what we're already doing in our lifestyle. So yeah, so without further ado, let me get on because I could just stand here and chat forever like I do and you know, we've got abs to get right. So, I need you to get a stopwatch, some tunes if you want to drown out my husky voice. We're going to do one minute stations for the nation of the creation. Uh, make sure you've got yourself a kettlebell. Make sure you've got plenty safe and obviously hydration for the nation as well. Make sure you have got a bottle of water if you've not had some already. So, are we ready? Let's do this. So I need you to get those legs nice and wide for me and get them knees nice and soft. You're going to roll them shoulders back and down. I'm just going to shove a bit of chimps on just to drown that a little bit of that back, back noise. So yeah, here we go with the kettlebells. Like I said, you should have already warmed up. This is great for, you know, after you work out or if you've gone for a walk or been for a run while you can just come over and just put this on and yeah let's see some abs so here we go so on this section first what we're going to do is we're going to bring it over we're going to bring it right down from here we're going to lean in and you're going to twist the body and we're going to bring this kettlebell right up above and you're going to take it down trying to lean more through that side with that kettlebell as you go around so let's start that stop watch a minute here we go so right now make sure you're squeezing your bum cheeks as you come up, right through and again, nice and tight. And you'll see my abs really taking form as I bring that cowbell right up and round. How are you doing? <laughs> Let's keep going, keep smiling. Just imagine those abs a manifestation for the creation as well. That's it, we've got 30 seconds on this side. Keep with me. Nice and deep. Really feel those. I love them. Love these bad boys, one of my favourites. That's it, keep moving, 20 seconds. Keep breathing for me, so big deep breath in. And exhale, and again, nearly there. 10 seconds coming up. I could take it. Oh. Five seconds, come up, give me that last one. Are you ready? And switch. So we're gonna go back around the other way for a minute now. So back up with that kettlebell. Bring it right down. Same again, squeeze those bum cheeks as you're coming up. So right up and round, squeeze them and back in. Keeping those knees soft throughout for me, please. That's it, and again. Woo! Right up. There you go, remember it's a means to an end. Keep moving. Good, and again. Excellent, 20 seconds. Already in. Big deep breaths. Feel those abs really, really tightening up as you swing that kettlebell right above that head. 15 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds coming up. See, we're already two minutes down into your 10 minute ab workout. Last one. Keep it in. And drop it in. Okay, we're gonna bring it up now. We're gonna bring those feet together. Place it on that one arm. Knees nice and soft. Tuck in that butt. Hold it out if you like with the other arm. And in. So just gently bring it to the side. Making sure you're squeezing those butts. And keep it moving. 
And again. Good. That's it for 30 seconds coming up. Oh, it's a cheeky one. Keep moving. Good. Don't move the hips, just move the elbow. Bringing it down, do what I do. And as I say, we'll go far and wide. Jockey, 15 seconds. It's on me all right, it's on my body all right. <laughs> Keep going, surgery free. Come join me. Be happy what we've been blessed with. That's what I teach you girls. And switch, let's go, other side. Bring it down. That's what I've usually found. <laughs> no matter what, we're never happy. <laughs> Even if you get stuff done, it's not good enough. So for me, might as well just be happy with what we've got, aren't you? Save your money. Save the fact that you could, uh, yeah, actually die on the operating table. I'm going deep now. Just like I'm going deep in the mouth. Keep moving. And again, nice and tight. You've got 30 seconds coming up. Keep breathing for me. Twenty seconds. Good. Look at these bad boys. I can really feel them on the obliques. Come on, fifteen seconds. Nearly there. Ooh, keep pushing. Keep breathing. We're gonna bring it down onto that right arm again. After this set, last one. Oh my God. Bring it down. So leg out now. Just up that bum in again. Shoulders back and down and drop. So again, it's just a little bit like that. I'm a little teapot, short and spout. Here's my uh, kettlebell. <laughs> Here's my abs. So keep it there. Keep that chest proud from then shoulders squeeze back. Just watch that knee, make sure that knee's nice and soft throughout. And just keep pushing it down. And again, again, really feel it in them obliques. Really feel it in the back muscles. And they're the ones that are helping them out. Make sure that knee's soft and those butts are squeezed. So we've got a really good structure and frame, okay? Remember what I said, technique is a paramount. If you're not doing it right, it ain't gonna look right. And it's certainly not gonna be right. Keep going, keep breathing. We're nearly five minutes down. See, we're halfway through to some amazing ultimate abs. See, easy. Not really. <laughs> and the motivation, we need it. Keep going, five seconds, four, three, two, and switch. So back over onto that other side. Lay that leg out, keep it up, knees off, bumps up, in, shoulders back and down, let's go rock and roll, right down to that side. Make sure them hips are not moving. Keep it with me, keep breathing. That's it, well done. Excellent, nearly there. Well, that'll be like next. We're only 20 seconds in, but I just it's just scripted, you can't help it. <laughs> if I say I'm nearly there to you guys, I feel like I'm nearly there too. That's it, 30 seconds, keep with me. Good. That's it, give me some breath. Let me know you're alive. <laughs> Keep going, go on, you with me. We're on this journey together. You see, this is the thing, even in my PT, they don't let none of my clients train alone. We're in this together, it's teamwork. And yeah, not only that, it's done that motivation and drive. So, this is exactly what we're doing right now. 10 seconds for me. Keep it moving. The next one's, I think you're alive. I'm only joking. <laughs> Good, well done. Okay, on to the next ones now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring it up above the head. Okay, keep your bums tucked under for me, knees up. And we're just going to create circles. So I want you to use your abs to use that as well. So imagine you're creating a circle with that chest, with that stomach, with that back. Again, keeping them butts are nice and tight for me. Just driving round into them tummy muscles at that top. So satisfying with these, you can really feel it. Right, and then something's gonna really hurt these because they also get into your shoulders, unfortunately. This is the luxuries of doing these bad boys up. Keep going, 20 seconds here. That's it, move it. That's when you get a like kettlebell, you see. Me, I think I'm hard, don't I? And then again, it's the top of my nose. Why have I done that to myself? <laughs> there you are, right, read round, let's go, back it up. Right down the other side. Woo keep the elbows tight. Keep it breathing. Keep them knees soft. Keep that butt tucked under. I won't let you. Feel free to sing a few hours on. Like a bit of karaoke. It helps with breathing. Stay with me. That's it, exactly. Stay with me. 
We're gonna abs, abs, the best of our lives. Keep going. Nearly there. We've got 20 seconds coming up. My arms are burning. Keep with me. Woo! As he said, let's go. Come on, come on. 20 seconds. Dish, 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 dish. Well done. 15. Wow. And then we've just got the last two minutes. Come on, keep with me. Get them abs moving. Go on, feel that burn. Because when it burns, boy, boy, it works. Oh, and relax. Right, next one's holding it up here. What I want you to do is I want you to twist and bring in a crunch. I'm going to bring it right down, right down. In with that crunch, right down. So picking them knees up, driving in with that tummy, crunching in with that kettlebell. Keep them elbows in. Quite a nice one to finish off after that one last one. Keep it moving, keep it going. That's it, well done. And again, right in for me. That's it. Like I said, a really good one to finish with on this 10 minute kettlebell ab workout. Not as true way, Tiffany, sexy thing. <laughs> it's gonna be it's sick of it, isn't that? Keep going, nearly there. Twist them out, twist them, pull it in. Good, really drive down, crunchy. It's getting a bit too much, you can hold it like a cannonball. And really bringing those abs, bringing that knee right into that chest. Well done, so we're gonna go one leg. So you're gonna keep it here, you're gonna drive it in, add that twist, pulling it in, crunching it together, really feeling those abs work. Keep going, nearly there. Keep breathing with me. Woo, definitely gonna need some water after this. What do you think, eh? In a bit of dry mouth for you, nearly there, last one. Here we go, and switch it to the side. So again, twist it in, drive it down, crunch that body, lift that leg. Let's get those abs to die for you. Yeah? Keep going. Woo, 20 seconds. Crunch it in. Well done. 10 seconds. Last two, last one, and relax. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Obviously you're gonna feel it a little bit in your arms because you've been holding the kettlebell, so just be careful on the weight that you choose in future. Um, but it's a great, like I say, little lab workout. Let's get going within 10 minutes. Wham, bam, take me out.